Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. And today we're going to be doing a LED project for the pool. Now this is the second one I'm going to be doing. Only being because this way seems to be better. If you have a gunite pool, this will not work, unfortunately. This is only for a liner pool that has steel. And that is to prevent roots from penetrating the liner from outside. So that is why, and I have that. So what I have, I have these cool LED lights and they're submergible, which is awesome. They're designed for ponds and stuff like that. You have a remote control, you turn on the lights and they look great. So it comes with uh, two remote controls. I have two four packs here. All right, so I have total of eight. And I have additional two here that I bought a while ago. So I have uh, 10 LEDs. So what I did was I actually, if you can look carefully, I hot glued uh, two of the magnets per, per puck. So <clears throat> these two are done. These are the spares. And then I have additional eight here that I have that we're going to have to put, we're going to be putting on two, two each. So we have enough magnets here. I, this is a 25 pack magnet. A nickel plated magnet and I'll show you all the links will be for all the the lights and the magnets below for this project it seems to be the lowest cost and least maintenance I should say so these LEDs are really really nice and they're multicolor so I have a remote here that I've been using um, if you want to make them all green which is probably not something a good idea because it didn't make it looks like the, wa the water is actually green and dirty but uh red looks cool um you can have all of them red because it does look really snazzy so if i added all of them to this so now i have 10 lights and this looks awesome in the pool it really does so um we can make them all white and it just, I'm telling you right now, it just looks cool, especially when you have them all different directions. I mean, this is just going straight up, but it does look really, really cool. And make sure you have the infrared sensor facing up. So then you can just walk around the edge of your pool and turn them on or off or whatever color you want to change them to. It works out really well that way. And I've done this before already. <clears throat> just said I'm, I bought brand new ones just for this, just for you guys. All right. This is the pull it up. You can clearly see the pucks or the where they're located in the pool and how they light it up. It's actually very pretty lights it up quite good and there's 10 of them and I have it set for white They're relatively inexpensive to do I can lower these lights low I can put these lights lower down in the pool if I wanted to but they're just a couple inches below the surface and you can clearly see how nice it looks What do you think? I believe it's uh, very elegant and pretty looking. All right, I'm actually shutting them off now. Very simple, we'll turn it off. Put the remote down to it and you're done. You just walk around and you turn everything off. Very simple to turn it back on again. It works really, really well. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take care.